Welcome to my channel guys. So in this video we will learn about how to insert a single document and afterwards we will be learning how to insert multiple documents to a collection. In the last video we have learned about how to create a collection, how to drop a collection and how to see all the collections that are being present inside a database. So in this video we will be learning about how to insert documents into a collection. So to do that first we will be creating a database. Suppose I want to create a database for my college. So let us create the database first. Use the name of the database that is college executing the query. Switched to DB college. It means the database is created successfully. Now under this database, I will be creating a collection named student. So how to create a collection DB dot create collection. Inside the pair of parentheses, I need to give a pair of double quotes and inside that I will be mentioning the name of the collection that I want to create in this database. Executing the query. So it is showing OK 1.0. It means the collection is created successfully. So now we are going to insert the documents inside the collection. So for insertion, there are different type of techniques. So let us discuss about the first technique. So how to insert a document inside a collection. So to do that, the syntax is db dot collection name that is student after that dot insert. Then a pair of parentheses and inside this collection, I will be inserting the data in the JSON format. That is the key value pair format. So inside this, first I will be generating a pair of curly braces as each document is to be placed inside a pair of curly braces. So in this technique, first I will be showing how to insert a single document inside a collection. So first a pair of parentheses. Inside that, suppose I want to store the name, registration number and the branch of a student. So name, colon, then suppose the name is Abilipsa, comma, branch, suppose computer science engineering, so CSE then registration number let the registration number be 1 2 3 4 so this is the data for the student the name is the key and avilipsa is the value same like that here branch attribute is the key and CS is the attribute. So the left value of the colon is the key and the right value of the colon is the value. So executing the query, selecting this, execute. So it is showing right result and inserted one. It means the insertion of one document inside the student collection is done successfully. Now I will be showing you how to insert multiple documents in a collection. So to do that, the command is db dot collection name, then insert. After that, a pair of parentheses. There is a change over this syntax. Like in the previous technique, I was entering a single document. A data for a single student here I will be entering data for suppose two students so the data of two students are to be placed inside a pair of square brackets so how that can be done square brackets 
enter okay now inside the pair of square brackets i need to put each and every document in a pair of curly braces as we have done in the first technique so a pair of curly braces inside that i will be storing the name suppose here i will be storing only the name and the branch let the name be x branch suppose csit after that i need to insert a document for the second student so at the end of the first pair of curly braces i need to give a comma after that again generate a pair of curly braces then again the name let it be y comma then branch let it be cse so now the insertion of two students data is done completely now we need to execute the query by selecting the whole set of commands executing the query so it is showing an inserted colon 2 it means again insertion of two documents is done successfully in the current collection so in the previous video when we were check here doing for the collections we were using a command so collections in which we were not getting the college database under the result just because there we were not having any collections so here we have created a collection and we have also inserted data inside the collection so let us now execute the same command show dbs executing the query so here the college database can be found under the result as because here we have created a collection under the database so this is all about this video in the next video we will be learning about some new operations for mongodb thank you